Well, good afternoon and welcome to the wonderful River Dart. Um, we're in March now, 2022, beginning of March. I think it's probably about the 4th, something like that. As you can see, sun's out um, and the creek is on the mud. So a little word about mud moorings. Um, mud moorings, yeah, well, they're okay. So long as you've got lots of soft mud, then your boat will end up... Um, pretty much upright like those out there however when you first arrive expect your boat to fall over like that one there and that one there but what you might not expect uh, <laughs> if the uh, if the pontoons are piled by the way then your boat will probably start to fall over a little bit until it makes itself a hole once it's made itself a hole then you, you're fine as long as you don't move out of that hole I always uh, leave my steps on the pontoon so that when I come back I know exactly where the boat was berthed. I've got some lines that stay on the on the pontoon that are you know, a measured length and the boat always falls back in its hole. However, we've had a storm down here um, recently which is on the videos and uh, it damaged what was pretty inadequate really. I don't know whether you can see that over there. Yeah, those, uh, those poles that are leaning at sort of 45 degrees <laughs> used to be upright and they used to be attached to um, those legs there, which used to hold the moorings more or less in line at this part of the, the mooring. Fair enough, you know, they're quite a long distance, as you can see. So all these boats along here used to stay upright. We had the storm. And all that's holding them now is the anchors, and they are moving a good boat's width in either direction, and probably six, seven foot backwards and forwards, resulting in people like Jenny's boat there, I don't know whether you can see that, falling over, and Andy's boat falling over. I mean, we're on a slight angle, so it doesn't look quite as bad as it, as it is, but trust me, even seven or eight degrees is enough for you not to be able to make a a cup of tea or cook something now a lot of you are going i oh, stop whinging you're on the mud more and it's cheap well in actual fact <laughs> it's uh on par with everything else along there really um and there's certain things i can't use like the heater the diesel heater i can't have that running when the boat's um, any more than about seven degrees in any direction because the diesel heater works by the diesel dripping into a little chamber and then that drips out onto the glow plug which fires up gets the uh, system hot and then the cool air from outside is blown across the top of that chamber creating a hot air forced hot air into the boat so obviously if that's leaning one way or the other it will flood the chamber or it won't get any diesel at all so that don't work secondly uh, as I've said before this has got a slop tank system so uh, when you have a shower or you use one of the sinks it goes into a slop tank and that's pumped overboard well that's worked off a float inside the tank well of course when the boat's at a certain angle it stays upright so the pump keeps going until it's empty and just keeps going um, eventually it would burn the pump out if it was left like that um, so I have to switch that off there's a lot of things to consider with mud moorings I mean could you live at that angle <laughs> A lot of us are having to. Now, let me show you something else that's happened. Um, when the boat is uh, blown onto the mooring, uh, and then the mooring settles, it's caused me a few problems because it's gone. the boat then sits in its hole and tips a certain direction, um, which means that the boat is then lying on the pontoon. Um, it's caused some damage, which I'll show you in a minute, and it's also split three fenders so far, which <laughs> at 35 quid second hand you know it's uh, you can't afford that if it leans the other way I'll show you what happens it uh, you could play a tune on my lines one the line might break and they're 90 quid a, a throw or two it could pull a deck fitting out which it's already done so let's have a look and see what's going on as you can see quite a big gap to get off the boat and this is what I'm on about we're leaning away from the pontoon at the minute Look at that. And trust me, I've already had problems with that deck fitting before, and that spare lead was pushed into the fiberglass. You can see how much she's moved there. Move forwards. 
and if we go along here same story there every single rope is tight and if you look at Andy's boat you can see it's moved complete full width of Andy's boat and forwards about six foot and all because that mooring there has come away from those poles and I don't think the chains are doing a lot I've photographed them I'll try and stick those in the video if I can so yeah not very really good now that would be all well and good if they did something about it straight away, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I'm uh, going to put the boat into storage. And like I said before, she's probably going to go up for sale around mid-40s. I've been advised now. I was going to put it on a mid-30s, but if I got 40 in the bank, I'd be quite happy with that. So there's a few things to consider, guys, if you're on a mud mooring. Thanks for watching. Hit like. Hit subscribe. See you soon.